Hi, my name's Claire Varley and welcome to another edition of the Essendon District Football League Season Preview. We're counting down to the 2015 season thanks to the Pasco Vale Hotel, 12 Railway Parade, Pasco Vale. Today we're in Strathmore Community Bank Premier Division and looking at West Coburg. Making the jump up a division is always tough, but have West Coburg done enough to make the grade? Let's ask Teo Pelizzeri and Adam Saracoglu. West Coburg newly promoted after winning the Division 1 Premiership last season in Essendon for Division 1. They haven't made too many additions, they've certainly been trying to add to their team. Jake Laley coming in from Craigieburn is a good pickup. he's been a proven player in Premier Division a couple of years ago. Omar Abdallah apparently back from Coburg VFL has committed for the full season. Also Ahmed Abdul Wahed and Mo Saad coming over from the Northern Saints. The outs are pretty significant, especially for the back line. Dane Lucas, very good centre half back. Ross Waitman, excellent at full back and Deborah Catrolli who played particularly well in the final series so West Coburg they've lost a few they've brought in a few they are very much relying on the team that won them promotion to stay in Strathmore Community Bank Premier Division. Yeah look I still think they've broken even though with uh, who's come out and who's come in there's still some pretty good quality ins there so I still think in that respect they uh, obviously have lost some big names but they might still be okay. Uh, Digby Morrell though he's going to be a massive bonus in uh, Premier he's a He's proven at this top level that he can uh, coach teams to success and you might not necessarily do that at West Coburg, at least not yet. That might take a few years to get up there if they can stay up this year, but uh, it's all about consolidating now, I suppose, and uh, trying to make sure they can stay up uh, a la the Northern Saints last year. So the range for West Coburg, I think relegation's a possibility here. Uh, I also think they might be able to take a win or two off some of the top teams. Uh, and wouldn't it be anywhere near as much of a shock as when Northern Saints beat Aberfeldy or Pasco Vale last season? So I can see them finishing somewhere between 8th and 10th. Yeah, I'm going to go bottom three as well. But, uh, you know, there's certainly no uh, lock-in for relegation. That is for sure. I think they'll be OK. Uh, there'll be some great battles against the Northern Saints that I'm really looking forward to this year, Tao. And uh, we'll see how they go. Uh, obviously, a big threat for relegation, but certainly not uh, penciled in just yet. I think... Uh, they might just be okay, but bottom three points. That's it for this edition of the Essendon District Football League 2015 season preview. Keep watching the EDFL YouTube channel for more videos, and we'll see you back here at the Pasco Vale Hotel soon.